So let's start with WRC PV late and nozzle pros and intervention. And why specifically this WRC is required to be performed? So let's have a look at why WRC or FEA required for external nozzle loads. So as we are designing as per ASME section at division one, why specifically this WRC or any FEA is asked to do, right? So let's have a look at, we'll read it directly from the code sentence or the statement itself. ASME section at division one, gives the formulae and guidelines for the nozzle reinforcement calculations, but not gives any method or the formula for the local load analysis, and hence the refer to U2G. So under UG37, it's been written that ASME section at division one gives the formula and guidelines for the nozzle reinforcement calculation, but not gives any method or the formula for local load analysis, and hence we have to go to U2G. What is U2G? U2G says, that the method available in code is not sufficient to calculate the stresses as per this local load analysis. And hence, we have to go for some good engineering practice, which will be <clears throat> accepted to the authorized inspector. So how to cater this requirement? We can see it from here. The, this is directly a cutout taken from the code. The reinforcement tools in this division are applicable for the internal or external patients and do not address the requirements of openings under the action of externally applied loadings such as pipe reactions. When externally applied loadings are to be considered, see U2G. So what they are saying is the code doesn't have the methodology, ASME section at division one, to calculate the stresses caused by the external loading or the pipe reactions. So when such loadings are applicable, in that case, we have to refer to U2G. And what does U2G says? <clears throat> U2G, this division says, U2G says this division of section eight does not contain the rules to cover all the details of the design and construction. Where complete details are not given, it is intended that the manufacturer subjected to the acceptance of the inspector shall provide details of the design and construction, which will be as safe as those provided by the rules of this division. So U2G says the method is not given in division one, but you have to adopt to some other method, which will be as reliable as ASAP section at division one, and that must be acceptable to the authorized inspector. So this is what the statement given over here. So since it is highlighted over here, underlined over here, the statements that ASME section eight does not contain the rules to cover all details of this design and the, <clears throat> the manufacturer subjected to the acceptance of the inspector shall provide the details of the design and construction, which will be safe as those provided by the rules of this division. So we have to adopt to some other method. So when the code has not specified any method, in that case, WRC is well-known bulletin where this procedure was first given in 1965. 